Hello, my lovely Leos. Danny Moon here. AKA Karen, pole girl, whatever you want to call me, as long as it's respectful. <laughs> it is like four o'clock in the morning. And I came home from work maybe an hour ago. And I said, let's do your reading. Spirit, can you come in and please give me the energy of the Leo Collective, please? Love, money, career, life purpose. Spirit, can you please come in and give me all of the energy for the Leos? Use me as a vessel to go through these cards and give accurate messages to the Leo Collective. In Jesus' name, amen. So mote it be. Okay. I hope everybody had a really good Christmas. Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give all the signs a bonus reading. I already started that, you know. I I gave the rest of them bonus readings, so I'm definitely gonna give you a bonus reading. So I'm not going to do any type of spread here. I'm just going to take whatever spirit gives me. I'm also going to channel and um, I'm going to channel and give you whatever comes into my head. Like just now, what came into my head is fast movement. Like, like I see traffic, like cars, boom, boom, fast car, fast movement, new car, um, Spirit, can I please get a card for the Leos, please? The Leo Collective. Love, money, career. Love, money, career, life purpose. Let's give them something to think about, Spirit. Use me as a vessel, Spirit. Thank you to tell the Leo something. This is my strong, my strong collective. Can you give the... Can you give the Leo something, Spirit, please? Lovers. That's what I have in my head. Lovers. So I'm not really sure what that means. You could be married and have a lover on the side. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get some more, Spirit, please? Guys, you know that um, all the cards are not going to resonate with you. You can fast forward this part if you would like. Um, take what you can get from it. Maybe one card will resonate with you. Take it and give the rest back to the universe so that somebody else, another Leo, can pick it up. Okay? The lovers. Why is that staying in my head? Why is that saying in my head? Someone's going out of town. So I'm asking you to please be safe. If you're going out of town, please be safe. You know, sanitize six feet apart. Wear your mask. Spirit, can I get another card? Can you tell a Leo something, please? Spirit is telling me to pick the cards and to trust myself. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because I like for you to see the cards that come out and know that Spirit took them and not me. Spirit, can you please take, take some cards for the Leo Collective, please? Love, money, career, life purpose. Thank you, Spirit middle of the deck. Come on, can you please take it out, Spirit, please? Let me 
Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please, I really want them to know you're taking it out, okay? Love, money, career. Love, money, career. Love, money, career, and life purpose. Everybody should want to know what their life purpose is. Bottom of the deck. Let's not do that, all right? This is the woe is me card. You looking at what didn't happen or what should have, could have, and not looking at what you got right here. I just wanted to stop and say that. Spirit, can I get some more cards, please? This one. Mm. Mm. Spirit, please. <laughs> okay. Can you take out the next two, please? The lovers. What is up with the lovers out there? Is someone seeing somebody on the side or... I got that song in my head. Silly of me to think that I... Mm -hmm. I'm not a singer. Oh, I love you. Watch out for any deception in your life, y'all. Watch, watch out for the people around y'all. Somebody's being sneaky. Somebody's being sneaky with your money, with your wallet. I really heard wallet, but to me that means money. Um, Spirit, can you take some more cards out? Two more cards. Then come out. Two more cards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't be upset. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. All right. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but my phone cuts off in, at 33 minutes. We're already at seven minutes. I normally like to shuffle and have the cards out and ready for you. Um, but because this was random, a random reading, a random reading, I just shuffled in front of you. So I'm going to put these to the side because these fell facing down, but these two fell facing up, I think. Anyway, um, your first card is the hermit. This means something's going on. Even though the hermit card is good, this means you're going within. You're, if you're not meditating or maybe you're meditating and not knowing you're meditating, you know when you're walking to work or if you want to train or if you're driving and you're just thinking about your issues, thinking about your problems, how you could solve them, you're talking to God, that's going within and that's meditating. I'm sure y'all knew that, but if you're doing that, that's super good. You know, the hermit card is also about... Um, secluding yourself like um solitude you're by yourself because you're really in your head and all of that is good because i'm hoping that you're dealing with whatever issues that is whatever issues that you are got going on you know but if you just sulking and you're not doing nothing about it then this is for, this is no good <laughs> You need to be the hermit and go within and, and choose solitude because you're trying to dice up your problems and see what you can do about them, like taking action. What's clarifying that is the moon. And this shows me, this is clarifying the hermit, the moon card. And the moon is about fear, mystery, hidden truths, not knowing, fear, fear, and more fear. This is what the moon is. Don't be fearful of the moon. I'm Danny Moon. You should love the moon. Okay? The moon is my my mysterious, yes. But that's the great thing about the moon. You don't know what's behind the moon. And if you ever get to go behind the moon, you, that may be the riches and the goals that you're looking for. But you'll never get wherever you're trying to go if you stay fearful. And I feel like this is a relationship. All of these zodiacs i feel like this is a relationship thing it could be because it's the holidays and you know people be acting up during the holidays so spirit is saying whatever you are, spirit is saying it's okay to go within 
but don't go into solitude and don't do anything because I'm feeling like you're not doing anything. I feel like you're going within because I feel like you're upset about something. Um, but I also feel you're going to stay in this hermit mode because you're scared of an answer. You're scared of communication. You're scared of something coming out. That's why this moon is here. Spirit is saying, figure that out, okay? Um, with that, you have the seven of wands, meaning defending yourself and clarifying that is the fool. So the fool is saying, take a leap of faith. Stop defending yourself and just tell the truth. I don't know what this is about, but I'm just saying what's on my heart. You know what spirit is giving me. Stop defending yourself, whether it's in a relationship, at home, um, with a spouse, children, family, cousins, whatever. Stop thinking you have to be on the defense all the time. Take a leap of faith, tell the truth, and look, see what, and, and drop the fear. Is there something that one of somebody out there, a group of Leos, you have, you, there's some type of truth that you need to say, but you're not saying it because you are fearful. But spirit is saying, take a leap of faith because you're going to be okay. I tell people, whoever comes to this channel, you're divinely guided. I'm not lying about that, y'all. Spirit is trying, goes through me so I can tell y'all that things will be okay because they are watching you. They're walking with you. They're going to make sure that you're okay. They wouldn't give you this card if it, you wasn't going to be okay. Okay, so spirit is saying stop being on the defense because you're digging yourself into a bigger hole with whatever this lie is. I'm feeling like it's a, it was a small lie and turned into big or maybe it was just a regular big lie or a medium lie and it's just out of control now. And I feel like a lot of people know that you're lying about something and spirit is saying take a leap of faith and tell the truth about something. Whatever it is, I want to say, oh, I don't want to say that, like, that it wasn't intentional. It was a secret. It was a secret. I don't know. This is what I'm getting, so I'm just telling you. Um... The next card you have is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is like, you know what to do, which is tell the truth, whether that at, that's at work or at home or with a spouse. Um, if this is about a job opportunity, you already know, you 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 got the idea. You are, and the reason you got the idea is for because you got that next, the next card is your Ace of Swords, but I'm gonna get there. But that's showing me that you got clarity. Now, if this is a lie about something in a relationship, you already know what to do. And the reason I know that you know what to do is because you got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is an upstanding character. He's He is the slowest moving horse in the deck. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. But that's not a bad thing. He is contemplating what he's doing every single decision he makes he goes within he dissects it and dissects it and make i know that sounded crazy dissects it you know what i'm saying he chops it up to make sure that it's the right decision for him he makes sure that um his pentacles which is his money but this also means earth this also means his home life he makes sure that Everything is straight by the time he gets to the finish line that everything is right because he doesn't want to mess anything up. So this is why this is clarifying this because you're standing there and you're sitting there because you're not only you got the answer, but you're making sure that it is correct and that you know what you're doing. It's seeming like to me that you're getting out of this fearful mode of losing someone or like court or kids or arguments, confrontation, chaos, like you're, you're starting to say, listen, let me deal with this head on, whatever this situation is. Something about feelings, um, something about your feelings. I, I'm not, 
All of this, you got to piece together yourself, y'all. I'm just giving you what spirit is giving me. I wish spirit would just give me the whole story, but spirit feels like you know what I'm talking about. And the reason why you know, and the reason why you got these last two cards, the three of wands and the knight of pentacles, is because you got clarity. This is the ace the ace of swords ace of swords means god put in your brain clarity like i call this the aha card like the oh shit card like oh shit i ain't think about that maybe i could do this or maybe i could do that or maybe if i go in this way or maybe if i tell her slowly or me her i'm just saying her there's no gender nothing i'm just pulling this out my ass um but this is the aha Oh shit card so use the clarity because god is giving it to you spirit is giving it to you the universe is giving it to you this is the only way you do it because this is a communication card you're gonna have to communicate this silent treatment that you're giving her or people is gonna go left right The silent treatment's not going to work for long. Two of cups, y'all. Two of cups. This is a union. This is clarifying this. This is how I know this is a relationship, y'all. I really want this to be about your job. I'm trying to, like, I'm quietly in my head trying to tell spirit, tell me about life purpose or job or money this is about a relationship, I have to tell you right now. And this clarified it for me. Spirit is giving you a clarifying, um, a clarity card. Because once you communicate and get, clar get clarity and then communicate, this will be a great union. If there's a third party involved... Get rid of the... That's what Spirit is saying. Get rid of the third party... I hear get rid of third party decisions. I hear decisions. The this the voice in my head is almost like an echoing, like I can't hear it. Like I can hear it, but it's like, ooh, decisions. Like it's echoing, so I'm trying to make some sense of it. Um <laughs> Spirit, can you please um give me clarity on what this reading is about? A relationship. First, I heard job three times, but I don't feel like this is about a job. I just don't. I really don't. But my thing is, if it's a for a job for you, y'all put it to your life. Apply it. You know what I'm saying? Apply it to your life. So the two of cups, like I said, is a union. This could be with a partnership in business, or this is could be in a relationship. But this is a good card. This is y'all coming together. This is great things after you communicate and get clarity um the cards that fell but two was upright which is the ace of swords with the nine of pentacles um i did tell you that in my head i heard job like three times and then in my gut i heard relationships so who knows which one is right apply it to your life this, again, is another communication card. This is something, a message coming into you very quickly, um, very sharply. Um, this also could be a student, somebody like getting a certificate, somebody in school, someone going to school after the holidays. Hmm... Someone could have met somebody in school. But this is going to be a message. This is a message. This is communication card, okay, y'all? You got two communication cards. Spirit is telling you to open your mouth and use your throat chakra and talk and communicate and tell the truth about something. What's clarifying this is your nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is growth in your life. Not just your money. 
but in your life. And that's also showing me that once you speak up, and talk and tell the truth about whatever this is to whoever this is, you will start to grow. You're not here yet. You're on a standstill. Nothing's good. Spirit is saying nothing's happening for you. The, the, the divine puts you on a delay until you until you communicate. I'm going to go over it real quick, y'all, because I'm at 20 already. You got the hermit in the moon. Okay, that means you're going within. You're struggling with a decision or with communication or telling somebody the truth about something. You're on the defense about something, that about a lie. I feel like it's a lie. I feel like it's a big lie. But spirit is telling you take the leap of faith and just tell the truth. You decided that you are going to tell the truth you are going to speak to your person or your people about whatever happened here and you're going to really dissect what that means and how it's going to affect you and the other person before you move along with it but while you're doing that spirit is going to come in and give you clarity about this situation and then things will start to come together when things start to come together, you will start to communicate more. And that is when your life, your money, your material wealth, your home, your relationship will grow and be abundant like this. The, three, the other cards that fell down on the floor is the Three of Cups, which is celebration and gathering. But this could also mean a third party, like whatever it's... If like if someone's out there cheating, or if somebody out there is feeling f someone else, but has a person, spirit is like no deceit. The whoever the other person is, the third party is no good. But the person that you're with is a good person. If you don't want to be with them, leave. <laughs> That's what spirit is saying. This is the Knight of Wands. You feel very passionate about. You could feel very passionate about that third party, but whenever you go into hermit mode and you want to see what that this passion is about, maybe that's just what it is. Maybe it's like passionate about the sex y'all are having. You have to see, you have to weigh your options. This person that I've been with for this long, and you know, you know, um, sorry, uh, this sometimes this began on my nerves, um. Y'all know that um, time could mess up a relationship. It could mess up a job relationship. Like you get tired of your job and you could get tired of your spouse eventually too. And then a third party comes in and then you are, woohoo, you're having great sex. You think that you, um, how do you say it? Uh, you think that y'all are vibing, like y'all have the same thing in common and such shit. And sometimes it's not that... So when spirit comes in with this clarity and this communication for your throat chakra, please do it so that you can end up like this, okay? So that was the that was this, and I told you it's very passionate. Knight of Wands coming in. You see the horse is moving, not like that other one. And then again, remember we I showed this to you at the bottom of the deck. You got it again, and this is the woe is me card. This is the um, five of cups, where he's he only thinking about what he lost. Maybe you lost feelings for the other person that you're in the relationship with. Maybe that's what it is, um, and you feel sad and you don't want to tell. You don't want to tell the the good person, or you don't want to. Maybe it's a third party involved, and you just don't know what to do. Spirit is saying, if you turn around and see these other cups, this is your clarity cup and your communication cups. If you do that, if you turn around and see those cups, which is really God giving you this at the end of the day, you will be abundant. You'll be abundant abundant all around like mental clarity you feel a weight off your shoulders like it's i'm telling you y'all i'm telling you for me to do this reading at four o'clock in the morning i didn't do no automatic writing all of this just came to me this is for somebody now is this for at all the leos in the world no but whatever energy just came to me about this this is for you um I'm going to give you an angel answer. Remember, I will give you a bonus reading to y'all. But I'm hoping your bonus reading is about something else. 
um, Spirit, can you take a card out for the Leos, please? For the Leo Collective. Can you show them the way with the, one of these cards, please? Can we clarify on that reading something, y'all? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Be assertive. Now, that doesn't mean bossy. That doesn't mean, but you got to be assertive with yourself. Like, you need to say, like, yo, I need to talk. You need to be assertive. Okay, I don't know if this applies to your job, but if it applies to the reading, it, uh, then it goes to a relationship. There are helpful people around. Maybe there's somebody who knows this little secret of yours. Maybe you um, have helpful people who know this, who can give you some sound advice. This is These are too many, and they, they turned face down. They was over here, and these cards over here, so I'm not going to take these. Um, but if they come back out, I will take them. Spirit, can you give me two? Can you give me two? Thank you. Say no more. The whole reading was about getting clarity and making sure that you communicate. That's taking action. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get one more? I told you, this is, I told you, I, I told you, you can't keep secrets from spirit, y'all. This is about a romance. This could be the third party romance. Let that go. And then if you, listen, I can't tell you what to do. But if you really in love with this third party, then let that other person go. I don't even know, really know what else. This is like a cut and dry reading. Okay. Um, it really is. Let's see what this deck is saying. Wow. Please hit me up in the comments if I was, even if I wasn't right, but if I touched on a little bit of it, pl please, 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 please. Spirit, can you give me one of these cards from this deck, please? This, for the Leos. So it can show them. Get, ooh, thank you. Thank you. Deception and envy. Listen, y'all. If you are deceiving someone. Remember I said that earlier when I first started shuffling the cards in the beginning of the reading. The reason I said that is because I saw seven of swords. Seven of swords means betrayal. It means terribleness it means liar thief cheater okay deception and envy this could be around you this doesn't have to be you this could be around you so remember i said watch your wallets watch your money you know what i'm saying but if this is about this relationship if this is about the relationship if you wasn't a good person you wouldn't have listened to this whole reading spirit must find you to be a good person so he knows that Spirit knows that this is just a bad choice that you're making. So Spirit wants you to correct your choices and to take action. But anything, any blessings that you think is coming your way, it will not. Because Spirit said it's on a delay until you do something. And then when you, and then my personal opinion, this is coming from me. When you take action, if you decide to hurt somebody, within that action, spirit is going to keep delaying your shit. You better do the right thing and make it easy as possible on whatever party you decide to go with, okay? Okay, y'all, I'm at 28 minutes. Spirit, can I get another one for the collective of the Leos? Awareness. Be aware of what you're doing. Be aware of deception in your life. Or if you're the deceiver, be aware. Spirit is telling you to be aware. Spirit, can I get two more, please? Can I get two more, please? Or one more before I get cut off on my phone. When you go into your hermit mode, and if you're there now, like just de deciding what you're gonna do, spirit is saying you need to do shadow work because for you to, to for you for this to happen to you, spirit is saying something something went wrong 
either in your life, earlier on in your life, or within the relationship. So spirit is saying, do your shadow work. Meaning, like I said earlier, you got to go within, you got to dissect all the issues. You got to ask your angels, ask God why this is happening to you. And he'll tell you because you came here to this reading, it was for somebody tonight. So spirit is saying, if you do your shadow work, it'll all come together for you. You have a chance to get out of this bullshit. You really do. But it's on you whether you're going to take the action on it or not. Um. Spirit, can I get another one for the collective of Leo about this situation, please? Can I get another one for the collective of Leo about this situation, please? Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. I got that before for some reason. Financial constraints. Financial constraints. I don't know how this will apply to this situation, but if this is like a marriage or a long-term committed thing where y'all money is tied up, I don't know. But if this has something to do with a new job or a job, Spirit is putting a hold until you until you fix whatever you need to fix. So you will have financial constraints if you don't do the right thing. That's all I can tell you with that. 41. 41. Spirit, connection, intuition. This one is 7 Chakra, Archangel Ariel, is um, spirit, connection, and intuition, and in inspiration. So, um, this card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful, from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. So spirit is talking to you and this, that right there, this card right here tells me that with this situation and you listening to this message that spirit is talking to you. So if you don't listen, shame on you. Because spirit is talking loud to you. It says that you have a connection, a free-flowing connection to the spirit world. So hit me up. My email is, my new email is moondanny, M-O-O-N-D-A-N-N-I, 1976 at Gmail. If you want to like make this reading longer or have a personal reading. Um, I love y'all. Danny Moon and I'm out. I'm going to give you a bonus reading too. Don't forget.